Hello friends, welcome to Simple Makeatronics. Today's learn at home concept is, step by step Arduino, digital input and output programming. A breadboard is used, since it has vertically, and horizontally connected holes, for easy prototyping, and understanding the concept. Arduino Nano is used here. Any data pin, may be configured as, either digital input, or output. Insert Arduino Nano, in a convenient position, on breadboard. You may connect 5 boards DC, for testing. Here 4 pins, pin D2, D3, D4, and D5, are configured as output. So, anodes of 4 LEDs, are connected to the 4 pins, through 4 resistors in series. The 4 cathode leads are, connected to ground pin. For more convenience on breadboard, 4 LEDs are replaced by 10 LED bar display. Check the polarity of LEDs, in 10 LED bar display, using multimeter. Insert it carefully, in breadboard. Now, all the cathode connections are, one side, and anode connections are on other side. Then, connect cathode connections, of 4 LEDs to, a common ground line, and connect, the Arduino Nano ground also, to same ground line. Then, connect 4 resistors in between anodes of, 4 LEDs in, D2, D3, D4, D5, pins of Arduino Nano. The cable should have USB Type-A, and micro USB connectors on either side. Micro USB connector matches to the Arduino Nano port. USB Type-A, male, female cable may be used, to get longer length cable, for easy connection to the system, while uploading the sketch. Open Arduino IDE, write pin mode of 2, 3, 4, 5 pins as output, in setup function, which are connected to LEDs. Then, in loop function, set each LED on and off, using digital write function. A delay of 500 milliseconds is introduced, in between them, to view that, each LED is glowing, one by one. This is to test, only output control. Now, through menu, set board as Arduino Nano, programmer is USB ASP and port for Arduino, which may not be recognized, unless the USB cable is connected to your laptop or PC. Select proper port from the list, then compile, and upload, the sketch. You may observe, the output code is working properly. Now, you may test, using 4 digital pins, A2, A3, A4, A5, as inputs, to control the 4 LEDs, at pins, 2, 3, 4, 5, as digital outputs. Connect a resistor, to jump a wire, then connect to 5 volts pin, of Arduino Nano. The other end of jumper wire, may be used as probe, for testing. Connect a 4-pin Berg strip to breadboard, as input pins, for testing. Open Arduino IDE again, set pin mode of, A2, A3, A4, A5 pins, as inputs, and 2, 3, 4, 5 as outputs, in setup function. Move to loop function now. The 4 digital inputs from A2, A3, A4, A5, may be read, using digital read function. The read value may be used to set pins to 3, 4, 5 as high or low, as you like. Four types of logic, is shown in the code, to control the four LEDs. Pin 5 control is made in single statement. A self-test code is introduced, in setup function, to glow all the LEDs, initially, for a while. Compile and upload the sketch now. Now test the output response, with respect to input, by touching, with the probe. Each LED glows, but not so accurate, since, the input pins are so sensitive, and in floating state. For accurate input, the input pin may be either pulled low, or pulled high, using resistance. In this circuit, one pin is pulled down, to ground level, by a resistor, makes the input to logic low, by default. Whenever the pin gets contact with VCC, it goes to logic high.
Now, you may observe the difference, the sharp and accurate response. Same result may be observed, using a switch, as shown in the circuit. In this circuit, one pin is pulled up to VCC level, by a resistor, makes the input to logic high, by default. Whenever the pin gets contact with ground, it goes to logic low. This is easily observed practically, on the breadboard, using a switch. The microcontroller has an inbuilt feature of pull-up resistance. This makes the input to logic high, by default. Whenever the pin gets contact with ground, it goes to logic low. You may set up, using function, digital write to high, after the function pin mode to input, in sketch, to activate internal pull-up resistor, to avoid using any external resistor. Compile and upload the sketch again. Now, test the circuit, by connecting, each pin to ground. No resistor is required. You may test the circuit, using a switch also, as shown here. The internal pull-up resistance concept, is highly used in digital input, and switch control circuits, for simplicity and accuracy. Press like button, if you like this video, and subscribe, for more projects. Thanks for watching the video. More explanation and more videos are available at Simple Makeatronics website. Links for other projects are available at description below. Bye friends, see you in the next project.